What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Happy Saturday to a lot of y'all. I'm back in here with one more video. And, of course, not a good one. Because uh, we got word barely last night while I was at work um, that we lost. Here in 2021, we lost another great rapper. Another legendary rapper. And that happened to be Biz Markie. Biz Markey had just passed away yesterday at the age of 57. Um, has to be from something related to type 2 diabetes because within April, since the last year, he's been he was hospitalized due to severe complication of type 2 diabetes. And then later on, last December, he um, was entering a rehabilitation facility after going into a diabetic coma after a stroke. That he had at that time and then a couple weeks ago like literally two weeks ago many people said that he are, he had passed away at the age 57 even though that wasn't true he was still in hospitalization but still alive until he officially died at a baltimore maryland hospital um just last night he was 57 now if you're a hip-hop fan from way before my time like especially in the 80s when it's taken form and whatnot you know who Bismarcky is, you know. And for those of you who are still young millennials like me, but still actually listen to these old cats from the '80s, you would too know who Bismarcky was. You know, if you had a Bismarcky, you you could tell he was one of the most creative and arguably the most humorous hip hop artists that you can ever think about. You know, if you know Bismarcky, you know songs like "You All All the Ninety." But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. That joint. And of course the song Vapors. You know, they caught the Vapors. And speaking of Vapors. If you. Y'all have to remember playing GTA San Andreas. You know, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One of my favorite video games of all time. Like, if you heard. If you have that game. Still on PlayStation or whatnot. God bless you. But if you remember that one. You would remember that song right off the off the top, you know. And you heard that line. They called the vapors. That was him. That vapors. That was actually the very first time I've ever heard of Bismarcky, and that became my favorite song since. Vapors was my shit. You know the beat and the humor in that. The humor in that was basically. So was so creative and innovative like it just stuck with me since of course just a friend i didn't care about it at first but then it kind of grew on me as time goes on and it's also one of my favorite biz Markey tracks and of course the song nobody can beat the biz one of that beat itself was pretty damn unique it became one of my joints now to be honest with you just because those are my favorite songs, I really don't didn't get into Bismarcky like that because he wasn't the type of guy that I would listen to on a daily basis. Because you know, that type of style it really doesn't um, you know fit to everybody a certain way, and it goes with everybody as well. But he had that real sense of humor within him. He he always had a sense of humor in his hip hop music, you know. Because when it comes to hip hop today. People are just taking themselves seriously. Shout out to my man Toji RTA if he ever sees this. Because he was right about this. People in music nowadays just take themselves so seriously. There's like no fun in it anymore. Don't get me wrong. There's certain artists that I like and rock with and vibe with and whatnot. But you just got to take the pedal off the metal so much and just have fun. You know? That's what music is all about. Just And especially in hip-hop. Just go out, have fun, and also be creative about it. You know? Just be unique. Be you. That's all that is. Originality. Originality always is important in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Bismarcky was. He's He has that sense of humor. And, of course, there's also cats in music today who not only take themselves seriously, but and try to be funny, uh, throw some uh, weird trash lines, and then hoping it could be successful. No, that's not how it works. Because when you're trying to be funny, you just have to be, like, creative and innovative with them, and you have to be willing to do it. And that's what Bismarcky did. He always had that sense of humor. He always had that charisma. And he just basically delivers it in front of you that catches your ear. That's what hip-hop was back in the day. 
you know, like I said, cats de- now, de- nowadays take, take to tend themselves too seriously. Like, there's no fun in that anymore. And then the, those who try to be funny by just for the hell of it and hoping it'd be nice, but it doesn't work that way. And to me, that's what Biz Markie was. Arguably one of the pioneers in hip hop. Um, that is that also had a hand in the evolution and how hip hop was growing from that point on. Because he was a real big thing in that late '80s, early '90s. Like I said, with Vapors, arguably my fa- my all time favorite joint from from the guy, uh, Just a Friend, and Nobody Beats the Biz, so on and so forth. So, I really like I said. I've never really listened to Biz Markie like that, but a couple of those joints I did here, and they became my favorites, so, yeah, that's all that is, man. Anyways, that's all I want to talk about today, R.I.P. to Biz Markie, arguably one of the greatest rappers ever, and one of the most pioneers in hip-hop, because he was the reason that hip-hop was further taken, he was one of the few reasons hip-hop was evolving even further, especially in the late 80s, when away from the um, hard drumming beatboxing uh, synthesizer sound into a much more rhythmic uh, rhythmic um, house party like type of sound and whatnot so and he was one of the reasons that hip-hop was evolving from the late 80s on from then on you know so yeah man and already in 2021 we've lost so many We've lost already, like, plenty of great rappers then. You begin the year losing DMX. You lose Black Rob. We lost Shock G. And now Biz Markie. Matter of fact, overall, collectively, and within the last seven months, going back to December, or, or rather, no, not December. Like, somewhat nine months? You lose MF Doom on Halloween last October, but his wife didn't come public about it until New Year's Eve. So with just this, within the last nine months, we've lost so many great rappers like MF Doom, um, DMX, Black Rob, Shock G, and now Biz Markey, and so on and so forth. It's just sad, man, when you think about it. So it is what it is. So like I said, RIP to Biz Markey. We love you, and we'll forever miss you, man. And your music was really incredible. I'm pretty sure. R. Peter Bismarcky. And um, let me know which, what's your favorite song about him. What's your favorite moment from him? And if you from the eight, if you grew up listening to him back then, uh, let me know what was your favorite moment. And if you have some songs you want to put me onto him, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be sure to check them out, okay? We love you, Biz. Peace.